we are ready to practice tissue placement on a plain glass slide. First, ensure the cryostat chamber, blade, and specimen head have been pre-cooled. A layout of the capture areas of the Visium spatial slides can be found in the Visium tissue preparation guide. Obtain a printed copy of this page from the appendix. We will use this to trace representative frames on a plain glass slide and practice section placement within the trace boxes before working with the Visium slides. The slide dimensions represent a standard laboratory glass slide of 75 mm by 25 mm by 1 mm. Printer settings may impact the image scaling. We have plain glass slides, a marker, and an OCT embedded tissue block that we can use for practicing section placement. Flip the glass slide over so the back of the slide is facing up. Using the marker, trace the capture area layout of a Visium spatial slide on the plain glass slide. Cool the practice slide on the cryo bar for at least 30 minutes prior to sectioning. We are ready to cry section our OCT embedded tissue block. Install the stage with the tissue block onto the specimen head of the cryostat. Remove the excess OCT and expose the tissue. Continue sectioning until the tissue is visible. Next, we'll practice section placement on a plain glass slide. It may take multiple attempts to obtain a high-quality tissue section. Once a desired tissue section is obtained, carefully flatten it out by gently touching the surrounding OCT with cryostat brushes. Place the section in the trace box by gently touching the section with the slide surface. Immediately place a finger on the back side of the plain glass slide for a few seconds to allow the section to adhere to the slide. Immediately place the slide on the cryo bar to refreeze the section. Alternatively, after flattening your tissue section, you can bring the slide above the tissue and warm the square on the back side of the slide with your finger as this will help attract the section to the slide. Then, flip the slide over and complete the melting of the section to the slide. Continue practicing section placement on the remaining trace boxes. It may take multiple attempts to correctly place a tissue section. This is why we recommend practicing cryosectioning and tissue placement on plain glass slides prior to working with the Visium slides. We practice tissue placement on a plain glass slide. Now, we are ready to place tissue sections on the Visium slide.